Many thanks for staying with us on Kitchen Business Today here on Kitchen News. My name is Abi Agina and let's now get into an interesting conversation around have the women been quite uh, proactive when it comes to having their voice heard when it comes to these issues that deal with bilateral talks. We've had uh, several heads of state visit the country, but have the women set out their agenda? Joining us this afternoon is Mary Jason Muthoni, who is the chair lady of the Kenyan National Chamber of Commerce and Industry Women in Business chapter. Many thanks, Mary, for making time to join us on this holiday. <laughs> Thank you, Abby. Well, a lot, a, a lot of visits have happened. Um, we've seen lots of talks coming through a number of areas Kenya has benefited, but has the women agenda been tackled really? Um, a bit to be sincere, no. Mm -hmm. I am not even sure that the women themselves have really pushed this agenda to be at the bilateral talks. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is one key issue that we should be having the conversation taking the another level. Mm -hmm. Yes. So what needs to change really? One of the key issues that we must realize, Abby, is uh, women across the, the globe, they suffer the same, same issues. If we talk about limited access to education and uh, skills, everywhere in the world, women are not having the right skills to manage um, and also to be at the table. All right. Number two, we talk about discrimination against women in control of our economic resources. First and foremost, if I am owning a company with my husband, you'll most likely find that even when the bilateral talks are taking place, it's him who is given the preference and not the women mm -hmm. to be at the table. Mm -hmm. So what should women be doing at this particular time? We must form organizations. We must be in organizations that are credible so that we are given that space to participate when issues are in the country. But Mary, one would argue that uh, a number of women-led organizations already exist. You have the Women Enterprise Fund um, and a host of other NGOs mm -hmm. across the different um, kind of areas. Yes. Because if you look at right now, a lot of focus is how do we have the women also play a part in national development. Um, from the visits, like you've rightly said, the women agenda has not been tackled. Yes. As women in business, being the chair lady, what is your game plan? Well, it's a long-term plan. And I would say, uh, by saying that issues have not been tackled on gender, it doesn't primarily mean that things are not happening. Of course, there are very many issues. There are very many things that have already been tabled. The government has given us opportunities to rise up above. We have, for instance, a 30%. But as women, we must have that total transformation to have one focus. By the way, even having many outfits is a distraction. You know, having so many things that everybody is doing her own issue, mm -hmm. then it's a distraction. And we need to come up with one voice and speak from one voice because when i present my issue to the table and somebody else comes and presents hers really we are all duplicating roles all right so yes okay and um, one of the key visits that um, the women in business did contribute in was the county visits that have happened across the country as well as the recent visit by President Uhuru Kenyatta to Botswana, we also did see some representation from your end. Mm -hmm. So really, how can the women position themselves to have an agenda that these are the areas we would like to get a slice of the cake? Are there some areas that the women feel these are areas that we can go big on? Yes. To elaborate on what I was uh, on from the previous point, from the women in business point of view at the Kenya National Chamber of Commerce and Industry, we are working hand in hand with the government and other private sector stakeholders mm -hmm. to ensure that women are connected. By the virtue that women work better in social circles, you must put them in their sectoral base so that you can give them information. If it's about 30%, you have to come and train them and give them information what other opportunities are there in the government. Mm -hmm. Ensure that they, you're equipping them with skills, financial skills, management skills, All right. 
Uh, moving forward to mm -hmm. what has been happening and uh, accompanying the president to Botswana, that one, that's one of the key issues that, um, that we So really, are... what, does it, what does it take to be in the presidential delegation? <laughs> From the private sector, these are things that happen every other day because we all have uh, um, sticky issues and especially on partnerships mm -hmm. uh, and when we accompany the president when the government uh, issues are tabled we are also uh, busy matchmaking All right. you know uh -huh. having our b2b so okay. my going to botswana it was clear on that because we have a, um, a women in business uh, forum that will be upcoming very soon and uh, one of the key issues that we'll be discussing are those cross-cutting mm -hmm. issues that are basically in uh, SADC, they are also in EAC, and we can sit down together right. and see if these two blocks can come together and address uh, women issues okay. we, we, uh, going forward. Many thanks there, Mary Jason Madoni, speaking to us on some of the key areas that they are keen on pushing their agenda for women in trade. We'll be pausing that interview for now, but more than 7,000 delegates are expected in Nairobi to attend the 14th session of the United Nations Conference on Trade and Development, UNCTAD, that will be held between the 17th to the 22nd of July. With participants drawn from over 50 different countries, the conference will be attended by many heads of state and will consist of a ministerial conference, a youth forum, and the Fourth World Investment Forum. I don't know for you, Mary, what are your expectations of UNCTAD, which is coming up beginning um, a week or two from now? Our expectations are high for the women, and that's why we went forward to front uh, space for the women in business, uh, which is going to be on the 21st of July. Uh, key issues, sustainable development goals, are we uh, taking a step? into thinking what next, SDG 5, SDG 8, and many others in between, among the 17 of them. So on the 21st, we'll be looking at also the tripartite arrangement. How do we come together and incorporate the SDGs and see how to move forward? Mm -hmm. We are going to also have a touch on the agro market, which is still really underutilized. Mm -hmm. You see, Abi, when we keep talking about women being uh, dressmakers, mm -hmm. garments, uh, they, they can only sew garments, mm -hmm. really. We need to leverage that mm -hmm. and have them even um, in service, All right. like IT, mm -hmm. construction, you know, um, sectors that are purely seen like they're male dominated we are pushing women to that mm -hmm. direction and at the end of the day we shall see these um, global mm -hmm. meetings all right having a frontier in what women are doing do you yeah. think this will have an impact on the domestic economy now that we'll be hosting UNCTAD we'll also be hosting TCAD Oh, absolutely, absolutely, mm -hmm. and uh, it's it's a great thing, and especially for people who are in service delivery, mm -hmm. uh, tourism. It's a big boom mm -hmm. already. There are people whose lives have changed yeah. because of having anchored and tickered in Kenya, and also in tickered we are also going to have a women in business um, exhibition for African culture, which is going to be a partnership mm -hmm. with um, other stakeholders. Uh, we wish to bring together all the counties. Okay. to Nairobi All right. and also reach out to uh, international uh, organizations All right. to come and exhibit. Okay. But this is not just a market day. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, we need to come up with a resolution that women can exhibit and at the same time bring that exhibition aspect to formal trading. Fantastic. We don't want them to be in informal trade anymore. Okay. Okay. Yes. Many thanks there, Mary Jason Madoni, speaking to us ahead of the UNCTAD conference as well as the TCAD conference, just shedding some more light on what to expect and how can the women benefit from all this. Many thanks. Well, time now to take a look at what's happening across.